My name is Dallas Shepard with the Harmonized Brain Centers. Today we're going to talk to you about one of our modalities we use here at the Harmonized Brain Centers. That is cold laser therapy, low light laser therapy, or photobiomodulation. It's really all the same thing. It's using light at the near infrared spectrum or infrared spectrum to affect your cells uh, the mitochondria in your cells at the cellular level. It is a technology that has been around for about 60 years and is proven to be highly effective, non-invasive, but also produces more blood flow and oxygen around a certain area that has been injured. Sit back and enjoy this little video that explains low light laser therapy, cold laser therapy, or photobiomodulation. Laser therapy uses a process called photobiomodulation to change the condition of damaged tissue by stimulating cellular metabolism, thereby accelerating the healing process. A large convex treatment head can be used to compress superficial tissues, displacing excess fluid, and enhancing laser penetration to deep structures. As light pours into the tissue, photons will be scattered, reflected, and absorbed. Lasers operating in the near-infrared spectrum from 650 to 1300 nanometers can penetrate to deep tissue structures. Light that penetrates into the tissue can be absorbed by melanin, hemoglobin, oxyhemoglobin, and water. Energy from these absorption events will be dissipated as heat, generating a soothing warmth in the tissue. The primary target for photobiomodulation is the cytochrome C complex, which is found in the inner membrane of the mitochondria. Cytochrome C is a vital component of the electron transport chain that drives cellular metabolism. As light is absorbed, cytochrome C is stimulated, leading to increased production of ATP, the molecule that facilitates energy transfer within the cell. In addition to ATP, Laser stimulation also produces free nitric oxide and reactive oxygen species. Nitric oxide is a powerful vasodilator and an important cellular signaling molecule involved in many physiological processes. Reactive oxygen species have been shown to affect many important physiological signaling pathways, including the inflammatory response. In concert, the production of these signaling molecules has been shown to induce growth factor production, to increase cell proliferation and motility, and to promote extracellular matrix deposition and pro-survival pathways. Outside the cell, nitric oxide signaling drives vasodilation, which improves microcirculation in the damaged tissue, delivering oxygen, vital sugars, proteins, and salts while removing wastes. These mechanisms of action have been proved by over 40 years of laboratory experiments using lasers of minimal power. The recent development of higher power class 4 systems affords the clinician the ability to efficiently deliver adequate doses of light deep into the tissue to reduce pain, reduce inflammation, and accelerate healing.